Hey guys, I'm Rebecca, uh, your Hatha Yoga teacher. Today we're going to be focusing on dynamic stretching, so mindful movement synced with your breath. We don't need any props today. So if you have water and want to get your music started, we'll meet on the mat prone in reverse Shavasana, quieting down dialing down. So yeah, your legs can be spread apart, just whatever's comfortable. Just a moment. So we're going to start with our head to the left, so our left ear coming down on the mat. And you can bring your hands alongside you, and you're just gently stretching your side of your neck, the SCM, it holds a lot of tension. Just trying to soften and relax. We're here for a minute. Maybe setting an intention for the rest of your day. Ideas would be being present or open to what the day brings, or being patient with others, etc. Good. Inhale, lifting up, and exhale, moving down to the other side for a bit. Maybe you never sleep like this on this side, so you could do this during the day, just kind of opening up tension there, staying balanced. Good. And we're gonna slowly look forward again, bringing our hands, stacking them, and either keeping your chin down or you can lift. And we'll start to warm up our lower back. So velcroing our legs together, pressing through the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift up, squeezing your glutes. And exhale, lowering down. Lift. Lower. And keep going. We're doing this for... 30 seconds. You're trying to isolate your lower body. Length versus how high, good. So this time, inhale, lift, open, exhale. Lower it down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
So we're doing this 30 seconds too. You can take a break if you ever need and meet us back when you're ready. Again, trying to keep your upper body stable. Good. And let's just one chill wiper here. Wow, I'm already sore from that. Just one chill bite wiper in one side. Your right side. And your left side. Lifting your right again. And straighten your left arm. You're gonna lift your leg and bring it over, getting a gentle twist. Good, switch it out. One chill wipering first. And then opening your hip. And get, let's lift up. We're gonna do our upper body now. So targeting areas. So we're sitting back in child's pose. And then grabbing our feet. Sliding our right arm out, opening the palm. Lift and exhale, slide back. And your left arm, open, lift and exhale, turn the line back. Okay, good. So lifting up in the tabletop, if you need to bring the mat under your knees, if that's too much. And let's just turn our wrists around. So this might be enough stretch or you could come up on the balls of your feet here. So we're just holding this a bit. So coming back, and here we're going to lift our right arm and exhale, left leg. Coming out to 45, making a line from your finger to your toe, and then back to straight. Inhale, and exhale, elbow to knee, tuck your chin. Big breath. Big exhale and out and breath and out breath. Coming back to neutral tabletop and left arm, right leg out to forty five. Swiveling to front, inhale, and exhale.
and tabletop. So curling your toes. So you're bending your knees, pushing back and then propelling forward, inhale, making that arrow or plank and exhale. The energy goes back to your tailbone and heels. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. How about one more? So you're reaching your right leg up to the sky. Your legs are scissored together. And roll out that ankle. And bending your knee, you help it through to the top of the mat. You can always lower your knee down. And lifting your left arm, inhale. Exhale, look back, turning your foot perpendicular. And inhale, coming down, twisting your foot again, lower down. Stepping back, take a vinyasa, or you could do the one we just did. Inhale, and exhale. Meeting a down dog, and right left foot comes to the sky, roll up an ankle. Bending your knee, stepping through. Inhale, and exhale, looking back, maybe turning your foot. Inhale, bringing that hip forward again. And exhale. Lower it down. Take a vinyasa. Inhale, plank. And exhale, you can come down on your knees. Cobra. Coming on the table. And meeting a down dog and right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Crescent. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. And crescent. Lower down. Gentle twists. Runner slunge. You could just stand down dog or do your vinyasa. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and we do that down dog one more time. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, come through. Inhale, crescent. And exhale, word two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Inhale, crescent. Exhale. Inhale, twist. You can always lower that knee. And exhale, come down. Let's step it back. Meeting a down dog, we're walking our hands to the top of the mat and walk your hands to the other side. Walking back again, bear crawl. And exhale, straighten, and one more forward fold and rest here.
So yeah, moving into a little balance and hip opening. We're in our forward fold. Let's bend our knees out to the side. So this is sumo, tucking that tailbone as much as you can, and then pushing up, making a V for victory. Inhale, and exhale, arms come wide. Maybe back down to Uttanasana, turning your toes in. Bending your knees. Squeezing and opening. Exhale. And one more time, like a frog springing up. Ta -da. And exhale. Nice folding down. Lifting up halfway. And exhale, all right, down. So let's heel toe in. Actually, let's do hip distance apart. So bringing our palms together, we're going to bend our hips, gazing at our hands out in front. This is called reach to the sky. Bring your hips together. And inhale, lifting your right arm. So it's strong and active, straight. And exhale, gazing at your thumbs. Opening, lining up your shoulders. And exhale. Open. Shut. Open. One more on each side. Open. Shut. Bring your hands up to your thighs, gaze them down. And bring your hands to your hips. Let's come all the way up. So, slide your left hand down your hips, your hips squeezed in, and then we're opening our right arm to the sky, gazing up at it. And then we're going to watch our right hand come down as we make a V with our left, so our hand slides up our side, gazing down at our right knee. And opening our left hand, palm out, switch your gaze, and lower down, making that V, making sure you're one plane. Or kernel. Straighten. Switch. And lower down. Cross your hands over your head. Exhale, gazing up at your arm. That's down. Good. So turning to face me, we'll do our balance. How about today we're a marionette on a string? So we're being lifted and we're just loose with that lifted feeling up.
and lifting your right leg like it's being lifted by the string, so it's kind of loose. And good, then ground. So bring your arms overhead. And then we're gonna open them to a T. So stay here or lift back. Lifting and lowering. Marionette and right. And arms open. Lift and lower. So let's do that again, and this time, if you wanted to take a bind, right leg and arms. Exhale. So you can grab your leg here, or you can grab your foot and push out while staying straight. Plug it in. And switch. Take the bind. Whatever way you see fit. And lower down. Good. Let's clasp our hands, pulling back, getting a little back bend. Just slowly drawing our hands down. And then you're looking out, hinging, and lowering down. Bring your hands, let's inch arm again, and then you'll lower down. So we're gonna clasp our hands here. We're gonna do a little quarter so plank for a minute. So first, if you wanted to do knee taps, but just stay straight. Then if you wanted to do Toe taps. Fifteen more seconds. Good job. And lower down. Bring your hands up front. Log rolling so you're stiff as work. How about stiff as a log roll to one side? And roll the other way. Wow, that's massaging my shoulder. So coming on your backs. Good. And we're going to touch our toe to our heel, straightening our legs as much as possible, just touching the outer edge of the toe, either way. And switching. So 
this our B? Notice your arms here. Open, tap, and tap, open, tap, tap. Keeping your legs as straight as possible, doing some AB doctor work. Making those zigzags as much as possible. It's kind of confusing. All right, and bring your knees into your chest. Good. You've earned it. So let's do happy, happy baby here. Again, if you wanted to give full attention to each side, this would be full half happy baby. Bring that knee in and straightening your leg, keeping your hip down. This is easier to keep your hip down, which is the goal. I'm going to do a little movement here, massaging pliability. Switching sides if you're doing one side and then the other. And both sides. Option two, if you're already doing this, you could do a wide straddle. Just working on opening. Good. So our inversion today is half shoulder stand. So that's on um, where your hips are at an angle away, like a diagonal angle from your shoulders. So then all the weight's not in your neck. So you're rolling up. You can bend your knees initially. And then your leg, your hips are away, straightening your legs. If you wanted to go in a full shoulder stand, if that's in your practice, go ahead. But you really want to make sure you've built the strength in your upper body. And we're holding this a minute. And you're keeping your core engaged, trying to straighten your spine while you straighten your legs. Just keep inching your arms and you're puffing up, pushing that muscle out between your shoulder blades, your rhomboids. It's like that little part at the top of the corner of your shoulder blade that kind of sticks out a little bit, just for more description. like pointing and flexing my feet here. Good. 
Bend the inner knees. Good. Rolling down the counter pose for shoulder stand is fish. So you're bringing your hands under your hips. You can lower down that way. Or you could just push up on your head. So giving a back bend. Good. So bring your arms to a T. We're gonna lift our right leg and then cross it over. So it's more, you know, lower body movement. You can just touch your toe here and then settling in. So focusing on our lower body for the twist more. different parts of our back. And switch when you, you know, twisting, maybe inching your foot in, keeping your shoulders down. Good. Well, let's just meet in our Shavasana. If you wanted to do reverse Shavasana like we started with, full circle, go ahead. And we'll take some constructive rest time. Coming back to the room, turning on to one side, either your right or left, your choices. And then we'll be in a seat. Breathing in and exhale complete. Namaste. Thank you. Have a great day. See you next time. Let me know any feedback.